So today we only have one character to talk about, and that is of course Nero. She is going to be the next character coming to the game very soon. So today we're gonna be taking a look at her skills to see what she actually does and explain to you how her kit works. So first of all, Nero is going to be a fire code burst type 2 defender, and she is also going to use an SMG. Her skill 1, Cat's Repayment, is a passive skill that activates whenever recovery takes effect. So basically what this does is whenever any of your allies get healed, they will also be receiving a buff from this ability. And that buff is going to reduce their damage taken by 14.14% for 5 seconds. Additionally, this buff will actually increase depending on how many times your allies get healed. So the damage taken effect from this ability will increase or rather decrease by another 8.43% whenever any of your allies get healed. So if one of your allies get healed, the 14.14% value is going to increase by 8.43% giving that healed character a buff that decreases their damage taken by 22.57%. And the good thing is that this can actually stack up to 5 times. So at maximum stacks, this will give your characters 56.29% less damage taken. So that is not only good for Nero because she is a tank, but that is also going to be useful for every other unit, especially for other tanks. Moving on to her skill 2 which is another passive that actually has multiple effects. The first one has a 30% chance of activating whenever she is attacked. What this will do is it will increase the damage taken for the target by 8.26% for 5 seconds. The second effect from this ability also has a 30% chance of activating whenever Nero is in her grumpy cat status. This will basically deal more damage to the enemy scaling based on her attack, which at level 10, this will be dealing 158.05% of her final attack as damage. The skill condition for the 30% chance is not specified, but it's safe to say that this will also activate whenever she is attacked. She just has to use her burst first before this effect can actually be active. And lastly, this passive also has another effect that will simply increase her HP by 60.28% whenever she enters the battle. So overall, her skill 2 is actually really good. Not only because it has many effects, but it also just makes sense when you take a look at her kit as a whole. So moving on, we have her burst which is Grumpy Cat and this has a 20 second cooldown. What this will basically do is it will affect one of your enemies with the highest HP and it's going to deal 1104.91% of her final attack as damage. But considering that Nero is going to be a defender character, that means that she will naturally have a lower attack value, so even if this ability scales a bit high, her damage from this might not be as good as you would expect. And one more thing I do want to mention is that in the context of PvP, attacking the character with the highest HP is not really the most optimal in a lot of cases, because you will be encountering more teams with really high damaging characters, but those DPS characters are more likely to not have the most HP in their team. So I'm talking about characters like Scarlet, Bodernia, Privity, and Drake. Those characters in some cases are actually the ones that you would want to take out first because they're dealing the most damage and for some cases like Scarlet, being able to use her burst is actually a win condition for a lot of teams. So if you ask me, I would have preferred this to be highest attack instead of highest HP but I guess they went for highest HP to make it so that it's versatile for both PvP and PvE. Her burst also has an effect that will let her taunt all her enemies for 15 seconds. So this is really good, not only because the taunt effect is going to last for a while, but because it just makes sense when it comes to her kit. The effects from her skill 2 is going to activate whenever she is attacked, so having an effect like this on her burst really helps this character. And then lastly, the third effect from her burst activates when Cat's Repayment is fully stacked. And this will increase Nero's HP potency by 60.08% for 15 seconds, which basically means that she will be receiving more healing based on that value. So taking a look at her kit, she is looking to be a really good character for PvP, and mainly for two reasons. And those two reasons are Noise and Emma. Because when you think about it, Noise and Emma are the two characters that will benefit the most from her skill 1. Because in the current meta right now, Noise and Emma are two of the best tanks available for PvP. And these two units, being able to heal multiple characters at the same time, actually helps a lot in getting the 5 stacks for Nero's skill 1 really fast. So if you combine Nero with any of these two characters, they will really benefit from each other. Because the damage taken reduction when applied to Noise or Emma is extremely valuable. But outside of PvP, Nero is also going to be viable. Because when you take a look at her kit, it would seem like these are the skills and effects that you would see from a PvP specific character. But upon closer look, I actually think that she is also going to be viable for PvE, specifically for boss fights. And this is because of many reasons. For one, she is able to taunt the enemies for a long time, plus she is getting a ton of additional healing from her burst, and she is also getting a ton of HP from her skill too. So those two effects already make her a really good tank. Not only that, she also deals pretty decent damage with her burst because of the 1000 plus percent scaling, and then she also provides passive damage from her skill too, and additional protective buffs for her team using her skill 
one. So overall, I can really see Nero being a very versatile character that is going to be useful for both PvP and PvE. And if you ask me, I'm definitely pulling for this character, not only because I've been waiting for her to be playable, but just based on her skill descriptions alone, she actually looks to be a really really good character. So yeah, let me know what you think about this character if you're pulling for her or you're gonna skip. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.